Welcome to the world of investment opportunities, real estate, stocks, crypto, bonds, equities. The list goes on with countless different avenues to grow your wealth. But with so many options, it's easy to feel lost in a maze, especially as a beginner. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the best way to invest as a beginner in 2024 so that you can compound your money with confidence. Now, to understand the essence of smart investing, we need to dissect what makes a good investment vehicle. First and foremost, you need to consider consider your investment goals. Are you aiming for long-term growth, steady income, or perhaps a balance of both? Your goals are going to shape the type of investments that best suit your needs. Next, let's talk about risk. Every investment carries some degree of risk, but it's essential to assess your risk tolerance. How comfortable are you with the possibility of losing money? Understanding your risk tolerance is going to help you choose investments that align with your comfort level. Now, on the flip side of risk is potential risk returns. This metric evaluates the profit potential of an investment. So consider stocks versus crypto, for example. While stocks may offer steady returns, crypto presents the allure of exponential growth. Understanding this metric can help you gauge the earning potential of each investment. Another crucial factor is liquidity. This is going to refer to how easily you can convert investment into cash without significant loss in value. Cost and fees also play a significant role role in investment selection. So keep an eye out for expenses such as management fees, transactional costs, and fund expenses. Lastly, consider the tax implications of each investment vehicle. Look for options that minimize taxes on capital gains, dividends, and interest income. Tax-efficient investments can help maximize your after-tax returns. Investing is a personal journey, so take the time to align your investments with your unique goals and circumstances. Now let's explore some of the major investment vehicles or asset classes. Each of these offer unique characteristics and come with its own set of pros and cons. First up, we have stocks. Now, stocks are going to represent ownership shares in a company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. Stocks have a history of offering high returns, potentially growing your investment a lot over time. Some companies even pay you a share of their profits called dividends. Stocks are easy to to buy and sell quickly, but there are some downsides too. Stock prices can bounce around a lot, which can be nerve wracking and might mean you lose money in the short term. If you pick the wrong company, you could lose money if they don't do well. And keeping track of all your investments takes time and effort. On average, stocks in the US have grown about seven to 10% each year over the past century. For beginners, it's wise to start with simple options like index funds or ETFs, which spread your money across a lot of different stocks and need less checking. Next on the list is bonds. Now, bonds are essentially loans made by investors to governments or corporations. They promise to pay you back your money with interest over time. Now, bonds can also give you a steady stream of income, which is good if you want regular cash coming in. They're also not as up and down as stocks, so they're safer for people who don't want to take big risks with their money. Generally, higher risk bonds offer higher potential returns, but also come with a greater risk of default. Lower risk bonds, such as government bonds, typically offer lower returns, but are considered safer investments. Bond prices and interest rates have an inverse relationship, meaning that when interest rates rise, bond prices typically fall and vice versa. The average annual return of high quality investment grade bonds, such as a US Treasury bond or highly rated corporate bonds, typically range from two to five percent. For beginners, bonds can be a great way to start if you want to be more careful with your money or mix up your investment. Moving on, we have real estate. Now, real estate investments can take various forms, including residential properties such as single family homes and apartments, commercial properties such as office buildings and retail spaces, and you also have real estate investment trusts, which allow investors to pool their money to invest in a diversified portfolio of different real estate assets and real estate can grow in value over time. So when you sell, you might make more money than you put in. Plus, if you rent out properties, you can get regular cash from tenants to help with those costs or buy more property. Adding real estate into your investment portfolio can diversify your risk by introducing an asset class that often behaves independently of stocks and bonds. This diversification can enhance the safety of your overall investment strategy. But real estate isn't as easy to buy or sell like stocks or bonds 
want. And it can usually take time and require a big chunk of money upfront for things like down payments, closing costs, and keeping the place in good shape. So take the time to educate yourself about real estate investing, understand concepts such as property valuation, financing options, rental management, and property maintenance. Next up, we have crypto or cryptocurrency. This is a type of digital currency like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the idea behind it is similar to trading stocks where you would buy some coins or tokens and hope their value goes up over time. Now, this is done through online exchanges. Some people also day trade crypto, which is buying and selling them quickly to try to make a profit from price movements. This can be risky and requires a good understanding of the market. Some cryptocurrencies have seen massive gains in value, making early investors a lot of money and they operate on a decentralized network, meaning they're not controlled by any government or central authority. Cryptocurrency prices can be extremely volatile with big swings in value happening quickly. This can lead to big gains, but also big losses. They are not regulated like traditional investments, which means there's less protection for investors if things go wrong. But because of their volatility and lack of regulation, investing in crypto might not be the best choice for beginners who are just starting out. It's important to do your research, understand the risks involved, and only invest money you can afford to lose. Starting with small amounts and gradually increasing your investment as you learn more can be a smart approach. Now, you might be curious if there's an investment option that checks all the boxes. Beginner friendly, high potential gains, low effort, high liquidity, and full control. Well, I've spent years developing just that, an automated trading bot. Now, this innovative tool offers the potential for consistent monthly gains averaging three to 5%, surpassing just about every other investment vehicle out there. The best part, you don't need any prior knowledge or experience. With automated trading, you have full control over your investments and you can liquidate at any time. What really sets this bond apart is its unique combination of eight algorithms or strategies all working together seamlessly within a single platform. This approach not only diversifies your investment, but minimizes risk while maximizing opportunities for upside gains. Don't take my word for it. We have tracked the trading bots performance through a third party auditing platform called MyFX Book for the last two plus years. And during this time, the bot has an achieved an impressive gain of over 130% completely automated. We also have a public live tracker displaying the stats of over 600 investors who are currently using our trading bot. Now, at the time of this recording, there is almost $42 million in total capital between all investors being traded with the bot and over $3.2 million in profits generated since our public launch in October of 2023. So if you want to learn more about our trading bot or how you can potentially license it for yourself, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.